uh, from mobile telephony to the state of agriculture in Burkina Faso in West Africa, where the country has been reeling under water scarcity and fear recording a low cotton yield in an industry that is second biggest source of revenue for the West African country after gold. Cutting production in Burkina Faso has been on the decline since 2017 due to a variety of factors, including pest attacks, poor rainfall, as well as a reduction by the government uh, moving to phase out production of genetically modified cotton seeds. Farmer Matthew Idogo inspects his cotton farm in Giraro commune in southeastern Burkina Faso. Although harvest time is four months away, Idogo is worried about this season's cotton yield. Burkina Faso is one of six countries in the Sahel that has been hard hit by dry spells that decimate farmers' crops and livestock. Idogo, who has been farming for 20 years, says he fears this year's yield may be the worst yet saying his cotton revenues have been slashed in the last year from 668-500 CFA francs against 1.5 million CFA francs from the previous year. Cotton producers are worried and anxious about the future. Those of us who depend on rain-fed agriculture, the anxiety is there. Because we are not sure if there will be more rain or less rain, we are really exposed by this problem. From 2008, after seeing their crops ravaged by the bollworm, cotton growers in Burkina Faso began using a pest-resistant cotton variety, first introduced in the United States through a partnership with U.S. agrochemical giant Monsanto. The crop grew pest-free, but there was a problem. The quality had dropped significantly, and that meant priced Burkina cotton lost its premium pricing. In December 2016, the Burkina Monsanto partnership ended, with Monsanto writing of Burkina's more than $19 million debt. And the West Africans have gone back to their old ways, but many cotton growers say they are yet to see their yields increase. My cotton yield was bad this year. I did not get much. Production has decreased by at least 60 percent compared to last year. It's because of the drought. There was no good rain. Once Africa's top cotton producer, Burkina Faso lost its rank after dropping the GMO cotton. In April, the government announced that it will grant cotton growers around 14 billion CFA francs to facilitate access to farm inputs, mainly fertilizers and insecticides. The government also said it will set up an agricultural insurance that will cushion farmers against natural disasters such as droughts and poor rains. We only rely on the raining season for agricultural production. And if we have long droughts in the three or four months of the raining season, it really affects agricultural productivity. According to government figures, Burkina Faso expects a record production of 836,000 tons at the end of its 2018 to 2019 season, compared to 563,000 tons from its 2017 to 2018 season. Let's finish off from the oil market where traders are nervous at the moment as a raft of import tariff fight between the U.S. and China is already taking place. Right now, the U.S. crude for August 2018 delivery is trading $72.32, down 0.85%. Brent crude benchmark September 2018 delivery is now trading $76.62 a barrel, about 1.01%. Uh, on the market. Everyone is uh, bracing for the impact of the U.S.-China trade dispute. And of course, we have the rise in U.S. crude inventories of 1.2 million barrels this week to June 29. 417.88 million barrels was what we have on the radar. And that's how the markets are shaping up. Gold is also nudging slightly lower against the dollar uh, on Friday. Everyone's bracing up for what happens to the China-U.S. shots firing on trade tariffs. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye from Lagos.